Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. The Leader of the Cult, Creating the Cthulhu Gods. Chapter 1. In a villa in the wealthy area of the Big Apple City, a young man stared at the LCD TV in front of him with confused eyes. First of all, I should have crossed. This is nothing, after all, he was an orphan in the original world, and he had nothing to worry about. And after traveling through, it seems that his status is quite good. After all, there is a luxurious villa of 2,000 square meters under his feet. I was an ordinary person in my previous life, but now I have become a millionaire. Is there any dissatisfaction? Thinking about it this way, Xiao Wen felt relieved. Immediately with a smile on his face, he picked up the remote control and turned on the TV. Originally, Xiao Wen just wanted to read the news and get acquainted with the world. But, who can tell me what the hell is playing on it? Stark Industries CEO Tony Stark mysteriously disappeared in the Middle East, Stark Industries offered a sky-high price of 300 million rewards. Quote. Mutant Brotherhood and X-Men seem to have reached a truce. Quote. Umbrella Corporation announced that the company's headquarters will be relocated to Raccoon City, and will conduct in-depth cooperation with Osborne Industries, and strive to contribute to society. Quote. Xiao Wen. What do you mean? Marvel. Is there a biohazard on the horse? You can just chop me up, why bother? I thought I was here to be wealthy and enjoy life, but you tell me this is an American comics world. I want to go home. Although it is really cool to be a local tyrant, but you have to live to enjoy it. Just a marvel is dangerous enough, God knows if a super villain will come in and kill you while you're sitting at home. And now not only Marvel, but even Resident Evil, it is estimated that there will be other worlds. Compared with this kind of world, it is estimated that the world fought by Ultraman or Mask is considered safe. The only ones that are more dangerous than this world are a certain foundation in the restrained universe, right? But precisely because of seeing this information, a strange memory also appeared in Xiao Wen's mind. Half an hour later, Xiao Wen sat on the sofa with a complicated expression, and now he finally got a general idea of his identity and the situation in this world. This world is indeed the kind of extremely dangerous world that mixes various American comics. And his own identity is also very special. Not the ordinary businessman I imagine, nor the second generation. But the cult leader. Maybe it's because the world is just too dangerous. So people need a spiritual sustenance, so many cults have sprung up like mushrooms after rain. The cult that Xiao Wen belongs to is one of them. This is a cult invented by Xiao Wen himself, mainly for the purpose of defrauding believers of their money and satisfying their own pleasure. It's just that the name of this cult made Xiao Wen somewhat overwhelmed. Chaos Secret Church. How do I remember the last time I saw this kind of name? It should be in an indescribable world where even the name cannot be mentioned. You do this deliberately. Still careless. How did you choose such a deadly name? If Nyazi is also in this world, maybe he will be targeted. It's really terrible, no matter in terms of identity or the name of this religion. Xiao Wen shook his head helplessly, then sighed. Now we can only take one step at a time. Just as Xiao Wen calmed down, he heard a voice in his mind. The Cthulhu missionary system has been activated. Ah, what system? Xiao Wen stared at him suddenly, did he hear something incredible just now? The Cthulhu missionary system, the host can teach others to believe in the old rulers, outer gods, and even the gods of blindness and ignorance in the Cthulhu mythology. When the number of believers reaches a certain number, or the person who has a great destiny in this world develops into a believer, the host will receive rich rewards, and the highest host will receive the full power of Azathos, the creation god of the restrained universe, and there will be no impact. Xiao Wen's eyes lit up immediately. That is the creator god of the restrained universe, and the entire multi-universe was born in his dream. Even if there are countless believers outside, the three pillar gods, who are above all outer gods and old rulers, will maintain humility and obedience when facing Azathoth. If he really possessed the power of Azathoth, he would not be afraid to face the court of life. The great old ones, Dagon and Shudela, are currently unlocked. Dagon and Shudela. The father and mother gods of the deep divers are really the lowest level old rulers. Xiao Wen has a fairly good understanding of the K-System universe. Dagon and Shu Dela are both the leaders of the old rulers of the water attribute camp and the followers of Cthulhu. 
They and their descendants, the deep divers, all live in the bottomless deep sea city that humans cannot touch, and they serve and believe in the great Cthulhu wholeheartedly. These deep ones have a near eternal life and can interbreed with humans to give birth to hybrids. For example, there is a detailed description of this aspect in the famous Greek work, The Haze at Innsmouth. Xiao Wen recalled some information about these two old rulers, and then opened the detailed missionary panel. Unlocked Faith. Dagon, Shudella. Developed Believers. 0500s. Newbie Gift Pack X1. And the Novice Gift Pack. Xiao Wen saw that there was actually a gift pack for beginners, so he immediately clicked to use it. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the constitution of the ancient deep diver, the knowledge of the high priest of the deep diver, the statue of Dagon X1, and the statue of Shudella X1. Two dark green lights descended from the sky and merged into Xiao Wen's body. Almost in the blink of an eye, Xiao Wen's body was raised more than 10 centimeters out of thin air, almost 1.9 meters. Moreover, the fat accumulated from the original pampering has also been transformed into strong muscles. At the same time, the knowledge and magic of many deep divers entered Xiao Wen's mind. Although it is not enough to go there, it is quite dangerous after reading Xuanzhen Seven Chapters Secret Manual and Necronomicon, but it is quite dangerous. The constitution of the ancient deep divers can probably give me about two tons of power, right? In addition to this knowledge of magic, there is also the most basic security. After all, now is not the dangerous period when Shendu came out after the creation of the Avengers Alliance. These strengths are barely enough. Just when Xiao Wen was happy that he had the power to protect himself, he heard a voice from outside. My lord, recently there are two very good believers, I want to introduce you to my lord. What are their names? Xiao Wen didn't think much, and asked the other party's name. Ida King and Natasha Romanov. Ha! Xiao Wen looked at the three people in front of him strangely. Or the two women standing in the back. The second daughter is the kind of big beauty with a proud figure, long legs, and long-term exercise, with a mature femininity. Although at first glance it seems that the two women are very similar in temperament, but in fact there is a huge difference. Natasha Romanoff is like a rose in full bloom, full of alluring breath anytime and anywhere. And King Ada is like a winter sweep, seemingly gorgeous, but in his bones there is a coldness that is thousands of miles away. Almost just at first glance, Xiao Wen was already sure. These two women are the Natasha Romanoff and Ida Wang I know. My lord, these two women are believers who joined our church recently, and they are willing to give their all for our church, so I brought them to see my lord. On the point of giving everything, the old man who came with the second daughter emphasized it, obviously meaning something else. But Xiao Wen didn't pay attention to this, but set his eyes on the old man in front of him. This old man is one of the elders of the church and a native of Longguo, named Sun Hua. If it wasn't because Xiao Wen knew how much this old man believed the lies he said, Xiao Wen would have wondered if he did it on purpose. A Natasha Romanov, a King Ada are all high-level agents. How? Is it not a cult that I co-authored? It's a winery, right? At this moment Xiao Wen suddenly understood Qin Zhu's mood. My lord, for the Chaos Secret Church, for my lord, I am willing to sacrifice everything I have. Seeing that Xiao Wen didn't respond, Natasha Romanov, who was worried about nights and dreams, decided to take the initiative to end this farce as soon as possible. In fact, logically speaking, there is no need for a small cult like Xiao Wen to let her take action. But recently, there have been more and more cult organizations in the beautiful country. In addition, X-Men and Mutant Brotherhood also rarely stopped, so S.H.I.E.L.D. decided to clean up these domestic cult organizations thoroughly. It's just that before that, they need to figure out whether these cults are just a fake, or do they really have some tricks? And where are their fraudulent funds hidden? After all, S.H.I.E.L.D. is a very expensive organization. So Xiao Wen became Natasha Romanoff's first target. Me too. King Ada at the side saw Natasha Romanoff being so active, and an inexplicable smile flashed in his eyes immediately. It seems that he is not the only one who is eyeing this cult. Wesker recently wanted to make some trouble in the Big Apple and test their improved new drug. Therefore, Wesker set his sights on these cults of Xiao Wen, and asked King Ada to come over and get ready. In the end, I didn't expect to meet a colleague in such a small cult. Could it be that this cult is not as simple as it seems? 
For a moment, many thoughts flashed through King Ada's mind. But they didn't show it, they were just proving to Xiao Wen his loyalty to the Chaos Secret Church. I also believe in your loyalty. Looking at the second daughter, Xiao Wen, a plan quickly came to mind. A plan that can quickly expand the number of its followers. Whether it's the mysterious organization behind Ida King, or Natasha Romanoff's shield in Pretty Land has huge amounts of energy. If you can use the huge energy of these two organizations for your own missionary work, it will definitely make your sect grow rapidly. And I don't have to worry about the loyalty of these believers and congregants. The scariest thing about restraint religion is that it can corrupt and distort anyone's reason, even their soul, turning them into believers of the old ones or outer gods in essence. Therefore, it is basically impossible for a winery to be riddled with spies. After thinking about this point clearly, Xiao Wen said to the two daughters with a smile on his face. You came at the right time, I just got the oracle from the mouth of the great lord, and then our chaos secret church will carry out major reforms, and the lord will descend the oracle, and you will all have the honor to see it all up close. Xiao Wen acted like a magic stick, as if he really got the oracle. Looking at Xiao Wen's appearance, both Natasha Romanoff and Ada Wang showed some doubts. Because according to the information they have obtained before, this cult is actually an empty shell, and everything is based on the fact that this man from the Dragon Kingdom encountered a lightning strike and a series of car accidents on a rainy night not long ago, but he was unscathed. Therefore, some people believed that he was favored by the gods, and he also took advantage of the opportunity to create a cult called Chaos Secret Church, and began to deceive believers and congregants out of their money. But in fact, this person is just lucky, and has not received any so-called divine favor. But now he actually said that he wanted to let them see a miracle. Is this a new trick he thought of? It's a great honor for us. Although the two daughters dismissed this miracle from the bottom of their hearts, they still acted excited on the surface. Anyway, let's see what kind of tricks he is playing, shall we? If it's just a general deception, then it's time to expose him directly. It's better to let this farce end sooner. Whether it is Natasha Romanoff or Ada Wong, they are the most elite agents. In the past, all they faced were large international organizations, so they actually looked down on Xiao Wen and his chaos secret church from the bottom of their hearts. Xiao Wen also saw the disdain hidden in their hearts, but Xiao Wen didn't care, on the contrary, he was happy to see the result. Anyway, after a while, after seeing the real guy, it was too late for them to run away. Sun Hua, go and gather all the congregation and believers. I want to show them a miracle. Yes. Sun Hua should be the only one among the three who really believed what Xiao Wen said. Immediately excited to call the believers. Seeing that Sun Hua had left, Xiao Wen stopped talking to the second daughter. Instead, lie on the sofa, close your eyes and rest. Although the two women in front of him are beautiful, Xiao Wen is not in the mood to talk to them now. All his thoughts are on such a more efficient preaching. When King Ada and Natasha Romanoff saw this, a trace of doubt flashed in their eyes. Originally, they thought that Xiao Wen would take this opportunity to take advantage of them. After all, judging from the information they got, Xiao Wen, like other cult leaders, likes to find women for himself in the name of religion. Originally, Sun Hua also had this intention in introducing them, but Xiao Wen did not expect this time at all. But that's fine, after all, they don't like being eaten tofu either. After a while. Sun Hua returned to the house again, and said to Xiao Wen excitedly. Master, I have gathered all the congregants and believers, what should I do next? Very well, let's go there quickly. Xiao Wen immediately stood up when he heard the words, and walked outside with a look of excitement. Next, you will meet one of the many gods believed by the Chaos Secret Church, the real master of the sea, the eternal being of the deep sea, the father and mother god of the deep divers, Dagon and Shudela. Dagon. Shu Della. The moment they heard this name, for some reason, Natasha Romanoff and Ada Wong felt a little bad feeling in their hearts. I always feel that something amazing may happen next. Xiao Wen brought the three of them outside the villa. Because when I bought this villa, I actually considered the issue of concealment. So this villa is not only the luxurious villa of Xiao Wen, the leader, but also the place where these believers and congregants gather. At the moment, in the courtyard of the villa, there are already nearly 300 people waiting here. 
These are all the members of the Chaos Mysteries. Because the Chaos Secret Church is just a small cult, and it has just been established. So there weren't too many people. If it wasn't because Xiao Wen was pretty good at lying and cheated out all of these people's net worth, it is estimated that this villa would not be affordable. That's why Xiao Wen was surprised. Because a small cult like him doesn't need Ada Wang and Natasha Romanoff at all, these two ace level agents are right. It's just that now that everyone has come, that's all for now. Anyway, the final result is the same, all of them are their own high efficiency brush points. The moment these congregants saw Xiao Wen, they immediately separated, leaving a way for Xiao Wen to pass. Under the adoring eyes of many congregants, Xiao Wen came to everyone step by step, and then looked at them all and said, you are all lucky, you have all received the grace of the Lord. Because you will meet two of the many gods worshipped and believed by our chaos secret church, that is the king of the eternal in the deep sea, the father and mother god of the deep divers, Dagon and Shudela. Quote. Before that, the chaos secret church didn't even know the specific name of the god they believed in. They were just surprised that Xiao Wen was unscathed in such a fatal scene. Later, under Xiao Wen's deliberate operation, he joined the Chaos Secret Church. In fact, for them, it is more like believing in Xiao Wen than believing in gods. But since one has joined a religion, one must have an object of worship, right? So when Xiao Wen said the names of Dagon and Shudela, there was a commotion in the crowd. Although they don't know what Dagon and Shudela are. But this does not prevent them from expressing their admiration and admiration. Quiet. Xiao Wen gave a low shout, and all the people present fell silent immediately, and stared at Xiao Wen with their adoring eyes. Now I will read the oracle. Xiao Wen opened his hands as if to embrace the sky. According to the words of the great gods, the Chaos Tantric Church is the only true religion, all other religions are hypocrisy, and all gods are false gods except the god of Chaos Tantric Church belief. Religion is the enemy, and it is common to compete with each other for believers. For example, the Crusades in the past, although they were actually engaged in some looting activities, at the same time they really spread the faith of God to farther places. This is the war of faith. And if Xiao Wen wants to gain enough power, and even turn himself into a restraining God, then he must drive out other beliefs. This oracle is establishing the uniqueness and correctness of the Chaos Secret Church. This is also the most common tactic used by monotheistic religions like Catholicism. Follow Oracle. The believers naturally have no opinion on this oracle. After all, they have already believed in cults, and they must have been brainwashed. But the expressions of Natasha Romanoff and King Ada are a little weird at the moment. Originally, they all thought that Xiao Wen was just a wild cult leader, but now it seems that they really underestimated him. The first sentence of this opening, is he trying to develop and grow his cult, whose name is suspicious at first sight. But that's all. For the second daughter, the Chaos Secret Church is still a little cult. At best, it was just Xiao Wen's fantasy. After a while, after figuring out all the details, you can start directly. Neither of the two daughters took Xiao Wen and his Chaos Secret Church seriously. And this is exactly what Xiao Wen wanted. The second oracle, since the leader is the incarnation of the gods in the world, the will of the leader is the will of the gods, and no one should violate it. Follow oracle. The second oracle is even more common. The leader of any religion will come up with a similar discourse, this is to seek benefits for himself, to put himself above others. Just like the Pope in the Middle Ages, even the king was prostrate at his feet. This also made the second daughter more certain that Xiao Wen is just an ambitious leader of a cult. But just when they had confirmed this point, Xiao Wen waved his hand violently. Our chaos esoteric church believes in a huge and complicated pantheon. All the gods in the pantheon are the objects of our belief and worship. Their powers and classes are all different. The younger gods are called the Great Old Ones, and the older gods are called the Outer Gods, but both the Old Ones and the Outer Shendu are great objects of worship. After so many days of dedicated service by the believers, finally two old rulers responded to us, and they are Dagon and Shudela. When Xiao Wen said this, his voice suddenly became louder. Let everyone hear his words clearly, and feel that his voice is like a bell, exploding in the ears. Both Natasha Romanoff and King Ada, who noticed this, couldn't help showing surprise. Because they can feel that something is wrong with Xiao Wen. Next, it's time for you to witness the miracle. 
Worship. Believe. Give your all to the gods. Following Xiao Wen's words, the entire sky suddenly became groggy. The boundless black clouds covered the entire sky like a thick lead block, and the strong wind held at this time. The atmosphere, as if a storm was about to come, immediately enveloped the entire Big Apple. Is it the sea breeze? King Aedas nose moved slightly, and she could smell the sea breeze. Because the fishy smell of the sea is mixed in this wind, and it is constantly getting stronger. It was as if someone was holding a rotten sea fish and approaching him step by step. But this place is more than 20 kilometers away from the coast, how could the sea breeze blow here? It wasn't just Ida King who realized something was wrong, it was Natasha Romanoff too. At this moment, the two girls looked at this scene with astonishment. The gust of wind whizzed by, but in the wind, they seemed to hear some unusual sounds. It was an indistinct whisper. It's like an old man talking to himself in the distance. Although you can hear him talking, but you can't understand what he is saying. And now King Ada and Natasha Romanoff are the same, even weirder than that. Because they could feel that there seemed to be huge amounts of horror hidden in the whispers. Shocked, terrified, helpless, flustered. All the emotions that they thought had no longer existed in them came to their hearts at this moment. But what scares them most is the sky. In the thick black cloud, the two girls clearly saw the two statues falling slowly towards the ground. Come towards them. It wasn't until this time that the second daughter understood. Co-author Xiao Wen isn't ignoring Hiroto. He's coming for real. At this moment, the entire Big Apple City was in chaos. All electronic equipment lost its function in an instant. Car accident. Air crash. Even natural disasters. All ensued. A huge amount of energy emanated from the deep sea, rolling up stormy waves. The whole sea seemed to tremble and roar for it. Shield. Unknown Anomaly Response Division. It is confirmed that huge amounts of unknown energy are constantly gathering in the depths of the Pacific Ocean. At present, it has caused an 8 magnitude sea earthquake, and it may continue to expand. All the personnel and machines sent to the Pacific Ocean for reconnaissance have lost contact, and the possibility of man-made disasters cannot be ruled out. If the sea quake expands further, it is very likely that the Big Apple City will be submerged. Bad news came one after another, making Nick Fury feel dizzy for a while. What the hell is going on? Why did such a huge amount of hijun happen suddenly? Could it be that Aquaman and the others are here to make trouble again? Now Fury can think of the most likely being the Sea People of Atlantis. After all, many years ago, their Wong Namo also wanted to flood the Big Apple City. It's not clear yet, but it shouldn't be the behavior of the people on the bottom of the sea. This force is stronger than any existence we know. Chief Scientist of S.H.I.E.L.D., K. Bell said with a serious face. I even doubt that even the leader of the Mutant Brotherhood, Magneto, can't resist this force. Mutant Brotherhood, currently the most dangerous and terrifying villain force in the world. Many believe that the Mutant Brotherhood could end up destroying the entire world. And their leader, Magneto, is one of the most powerful mutants known. Now this power is even above him. After hearing these words, Fury couldn't help taking a deep breath, cold sweat constantly breaking out on his forehead. Could it be that those aliens are ready to do something? Fury stared at the Pacific Ocean sky, his expression full of worry and uneasiness. Because of the anomaly in the Pacific Ocean, the eyes of the whole world are shifted to the Pacific Ocean at this moment. Although Xiao Wen didn't know about this, he knew very well what was happening in the Pacific Ocean at this moment. The avatars of Dagon and Shudela entered the Pacific Ocean. Two stone sculptures about three meters high fell from the sky in front of everyone. And the moment the two stone sculptures fell to the ground, Xiao Wen felt two auras that belonged exclusively to the restrained universe. And immediately understood what it was. Dagon and Shudela, the incarnations of the two restrained gods have entered this world. They will respond appropriately to the prayers of believers and perform their own miracles. Believers who can definitely get a response cannot be said to be the children of destiny, but at least they are also a group destruction engine. In addition, if Xiao Wen expands the size of the church to 100,000 people, he will be able to order the two avatars for his own use. The appearance of the two avatars immediately gave Xiao Wen confidence. Even if it's just an incarnation, it's also the incarnation of a restraining god, so its strength is beyond words. Believers. 
In front of you are the great Dagon and Shudela, come and see their dignity. Xiao Wen opened his hands, calling on everyone to come and observe the statues of Dagon and Shudela. Witness the falling of the stone carvings, and the sudden change of the sky. At this moment, these people have completely believed in the existence of God, and have even become extremely fanatical. In this chaotic world, they urgently need a spiritual sustenance. And a real God is definitely the most suitable choice. Especially when the two statues appeared, a strange and distorted force had enveloped the entire villa. Under the effect of this force, everyone seemed to hear the muffled whisper. And in that whisper, he gradually lost his mind and became a devout believer who wholeheartedly believed in and worshipped Dagon and Shudela. Praise Dagon. Praise Shudela. Everyone shouted in unison, and when they looked at the statues of Dagon and Shudela, they had no other emotions except fanaticism. Natasha Romanoff and Ada Wong who watched this scene were completely stunned. What is going on here? The second daughter is completely confused, what is the situation now? Why all of a sudden, these people seemed to be possessed by evil spirits, and all of them became fanatics? They have only seen this kind of appearance on fanatics who are willing to sacrifice their lives for God. But how many fanatics can there be in a religion? But now, there are all of them here, and they are all transformed in an instant. Just when the two girls were in doubt, the whispers that could be heard before reappeared in their minds. Praise. Believe. Look up. Witness your God with your own eyes. At the moment, King Ada and Natasha Romanoff were whispering, without even the slightest thought of resistance, they subconsciously looked up at the two statues. But what did they see? What it is? That's not a statue at all. At this moment, in the eyes of the two daughters, there is a human body with a fish head and scales all over its body, like the legendary murloc, but the Dagon statue seems to have come back to life. On the dark green scales, there was a disgusting greasy feeling. Every inch of his body seemed to carry endless curses. The other, Shudela, the mother goddess of the Deep Ones, is a snake-like figure with nine heads. Like Dagon, she is surrounded by an ominous aura. Madness and distortion will invade everyone who sees her, and cause those people to start to be destroyed and mutated from the depths of their souls, and finally completely destroyed. The first sight of these two statues already caused the two daughters to fall into deep fear. They felt that the two statues in front of them had all come to life and were staring at them. Believe. Surrender. Accept. Before God, bow your head. Countless whispers chattered endlessly in his ears, and the statue in front of him was constantly releasing pressure on the second daughter. The whole world seemed to be completely plunged into darkness at this moment, only the second daughter still had this faint light in front of her eyes. However, that light emanated from Dagon and Shudela. Surrender your faith. Like the last straw that broke the camel's back, the two girls reached their limit of mental strength at this moment. Ah. Two extremely shrill screams sounded in the villa. But at the moment, no one cares about all this. Natasha Romanoff and Ada Wong are both high-level agents. The elite of the elite, whether it is hypnotic ability, brainwashing, or drug control, they are already immune. But at this moment, the unique distortion and forced corruption from the restraining gods is like a nightmare, eroding every cell of them. Both women can feel that their thoughts are changing, and their rationality is constantly being disintegrated. They know very well that they will become fanatics like those congregants in a short time. Thinking of this, the two women couldn't help but feel regretful for the contempt they had received from the Chaos Secret Church. They never imagined that such a humble little cult actually believed in evil gods, and there were two such terrifying evil gods. But right now I don't regret taking the medicine. The second daughter can only use all her strength to fight against this terrifying force of distortion and corruption. At this moment, King Aedas' pupils had begun to slacken, and his nostrils, eyes, ears, and corners of his mouth were all bleeding. And although Natasha Romanoff didn't look as embarrassed as King Ida, her skin had already started to turn red, like a shrimp that had been cooked all the time, and her eyes began to blur. No more. It's the limit. The two girls have reached their limit, they can feel that their spiritual defense is constantly being defeated, it seems that in the next second they will be transformed into a loyal believer by this terrifying power. However, at this last moment, that force suddenly receded like a tide. Leave no trace. Immediately, the second daughter was like someone who was about to drown and was suddenly rescued. Dang Lian was limp on the ground, 
his whole body seemed to have collapsed, and his whole body was soaked in sweat. Xiao Wen glanced at Natasha Romanoff and Ada Wang. He knew very well that these two women had not been successfully corrupted. On the one hand, these two women are elites, so the San value is relatively high, and on the other hand, Xiao Wen did it on purpose. If these two people become corrupt, they will only solve the two spies. If you are lucky, you will become a crazy believer. If you are not lucky, you can only go to see Dagon directly. This is not beneficial to Xiao Wen's missionary career. But if you keep these two people alive, and then disclose the information here to Wesker and S.H.I.E.L.D., and let them keep sending people over to use them as a scorer, wouldn't it be cool? So Xiao Wen let these two people go, but planted a seed of corruption deep in their souls, Xiao Wen could trigger this seed at any time and let them complete the corruption. Now the power of life and death of these two women is in Xiao Wen's hands, so Xiao Wen naturally doesn't have to worry too much about them. Fellow believers, you have seen the faces of Dagon and Shudella. From now on, our Chaos Esoteric Church will have a separate branch, that is Dagon Esotericism. The Chaos Secret Church is the root of the entire Cthulhu Pantheon and all the gods. All believers who believe in the Cthulhu Pantheon gods will join the Chaos Secret Church, but under the arrangement of the Chaos Secret Church, you will be subdivided into various in the sub-religion, they specifically believe in a certain god. The gods that have appeared in front of us so far are Dagon and his wife Shudella, so the first sub-religion of our Chaos Esoteric Church is the Dagon Esoteric Cult that specializes in Dagon and Shudella. You know, the Cthulhu Pantheon is a huge and complex pantheon. The Old Ones, the Outer Gods, the Three Pillars Gods, and the Ultimate God of Creation. They all have their own believers and sects. If believers of these gods are gathered together, it is inevitable that there will be no conflicts of belief. And facing the erosion of multiple restraining gods at the same time, let alone ordinary people. Even if you are a legendary investigator, you will die. The dice have to be ground into powder for you. Therefore, it is necessary to divide the sects and believers of different gods. This will also facilitate Xiao Wen's management. Follow the order of the leader. Although there is a god now, Xiao Wen's status as the supreme leader of the Chaos Secret Church has not changed. For believers, Xiao Wen's command is the oracle. This became even more apparent after being corrupted by the power of Dagon and Shudella. Now you will all become members of the Dagon Esoteric Cult, which also symbolizes that one day you will become immortals. The scariest thing about the restraining gods is the pervasive corruption and the terrifying curse that can drive people crazy or turn them into monsters. Under the control of the system, this ability has also undergone some changes. Turning into a restraining deity can turn devout believers into their own followers. And the immortals of Dagon Esotericism are deep divers. They have humanoid bodies and huge fish heads, although they look extremely ugly. But at the same time, they also have a strong body and a nearly eternal life. For short-lived humans, this is tantamount to a leap forward evolution. And following Xiao Wen's words, a heavy rain suddenly fell. Everyone was drenched by the heavy rain. However, a few people in the crowd suddenly let out a cry of pain after coming into contact with the rain. Then their bodies began to twist and transform constantly. In the end, under the watchful eyes of everyone, they turned into monsters with fish heads and human bodies. That is, deep divers. Looking at the person who was fine just now, he suddenly became a deep diver. The people present did not have the slightest fear, but looked at them with enthusiasm. Deep one is very similar to Dagon in appearance. And these believers also know what it means to be a deep diver. Eternal life. Never be troubled by disease and longevity. What a wonderful thing this is. Very well, the few of you will be the priests of the Dagon Esoteric Cult in the future, responsible for managing the daily affairs of the Dagon Esoteric Cult. Those who can become deep divers on their first pilgrimage must be devout believers. For this kind of person, Xiao Wen is naturally at ease. Grateful to the leader, thankful to Father God Dagon and Mother God Shudella. After several people became deep divers, the names of Dagon and Shudella also changed. This also made other believers even more envious. They also want to have the possibility to go further with their beliefs. And watching all this, Ada Wong and Natasha Romanoff were shocked speechless. Those are big living people, but they turned into monsters just like that. 
This chaos secret church is far more terrifying than they imagined. Now they even wonder if they can go back alive. The first pilgrimage is over, you can go back. Things were over, so Xiao Wen let them all go back. It's just that those few deep divers can only stay here for the time being. In addition, Ada Wang and Natasha Romanoff, these two female agents who were tortured enough were also left behind by Xiao Wen. After all, it was their turn to perform next. Immediately afterwards, after Xiao Wen arranged several deep divers in the swimming pool that came with the villa, he took Natasha Romanoff and Ada Wang back to the house. At the moment second daughter is still in shock. The impact Dagon and Shu Della brought to them just now was so great that they felt that their entire spirit was on the verge of collapse. But even so, they still did not forget their mission. At the same time, they themselves are full of curiosity about all this, and want to learn more about these evil gods from Xiao Wen. As people who have seen miracles up close, what do you think about it? Xiao Wen sat down on the sofa, stared at the two girls with great interest and asked with a smile. He didn't reveal the identity of the second daughter, because it was meaningless. But for some reason, the second daughter looked at Xiao Wen's eyes, but always felt a little uneasy, as if she was standing naked in front of Xiao Wen without any clothes on. There is no secret at all. But looking at Xiao Wen's appearance, it seems that they have not discovered their identities. This also made them feel a little more at ease. After all, if Xiao Wen really found out their identities, he would have killed them just now. As someone who observed the miracle at close range, I feel very honored, and I am more determined to dedicate everything to the Great Chaos Secret Church. Natasha Romanoff was still the first to speak out. As a high-level agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., she is too aware of how terrifying a religion that truly believes in evil gods is. So she must act as soon as possible. And King Ada is different, she is a multiple spy. The future of mankind and the necessary responsibilities of people who are going back and forth between multiple organizations and groups are meaningless to her. But at the same time, she is also full of curiosity about the chaos secret church and the grand god system that Xiao Wen said. Wandering among various forces for many years, obtained a lot of confidential information. Even the mutant brotherhood, who is currently the world's biggest villain, has a considerable amount of information. King Ada, who thought he had already understood the world, realized at this moment that perhaps he had only just come into contact with the truth of the world until now. This made King Ada's thirst for knowledge suddenly become stronger. My lord, what are the specific gods that our chaos secret church believes in? Why have I never heard of their honorable names? King Ada, try to be as fanatical as possible. This will also prevent Xiao Wen from doubting his own problems. When Natasha Romanoff on the side heard this, Dang even stared at King Ada with some displeasure. Just as he was about to gain Xiao Wen's trust, this woman ran out to disrupt the situation. But the question Ada Wang asked was exactly what Natasha Romanoff wanted to know. So she didn't say much, but looked at Xiao Wen with the same curiosity. It's just that the two girls didn't notice the slightly raised corners of Xiao Wen's mouth at this moment. The fish is hooked. What he was waiting for was that King Ada and the others would take the initiative to speak, because only in this way could he tell the Cthulhu God system, and then pass it on through the mouth of King Ada and the others. Let Wesker and Black Brazed Egg know the horror of the Cthulhu Pantheon, so that they will pay attention to it and conduct an in-depth investigation. Only in this way, they will constantly send people to recruit believers for themselves. At that moment Xiao Wen straightened his face, and then pretended to be very serious and opened his mouth slowly. The Cthulhu Pantheon is a huge and cumbersome pantheon. In this pantheon, the gods are divided into two types of existence, one is the old rulers, and the other is the outer gods. Just now I also heard from the leader that it seems that the ruler of the old days is younger than the outer god. Natasha Romanoff immediately followed Xiao Wen's words, wanting to prove that she listened carefully to Xiao Wen's words, and at the same time wanting to make Xiao Wen feel more fond of her. Good. Xiao Wen just glanced at Natasha Romanoff, and then continued. Most of the old rulers are descendants. They are the second generation gods born by the outer gods, or some gods with weaker power. At the same time, the gods born by the combination of the old rulers are also all gods. The old ones. As for the outer gods, almost all of them have existed since the birth of the entire multi-universe. They are older and more powerful than the earth. A god older than the earth. 
A trace of surprise flashed in the eyes of the two women at this moment. Because the earth has existed for more than four billion years, and the concept of God was created by human beings. Are these evil gods mentioned by Xiao Wen really older than the age of the earth? The meaning of God is not created by human beings, but God has given this meaning to human beings, so that human beings can understand what God is. Xiao Wen obviously saw the doubts of the two girls, and Dang even corrected their misunderstanding, and then talked about the Cthulhu mythology. There are many powerful races in the universe, and some of them have even achieved it. They can travel through time and space and come and go freely in the long river of time. Compared with those powerful races, the technology that human beings are proud of is just a child's toy, but even those powerful races are walking on thin ice when facing even the weakest old rulers. What Xiao Wen said was about the great race Yi Si. This race that can even travel in time, is still humble and insignificant when facing the restrained gods. After hearing Xiao Wen's words, the hearts of the two daughters suddenly sank a little. Isn't this evil god in the Cthulhu pantheon a bit too terrifying? Can the power of traveling through time be against them? However, Xiao Wen's words did not end here. The gods of the Cthulhu pantheon went to another universe in the distant past, and only recently returned to this universe, and let me be their spokesperson to spread their beliefs again in this universe. So before this, you have never heard of their god names. Facing Xiao Wen's explanation, King Ada nodded thoughtfully, as if he understood. But then, Natasha Romanoff asked again. My lord, how many of these gods are there? What are the great Dagon and Shudela among them? Facing Natasha Romanoff's question, Xiao Wen just smiled and pointed to the sky. Let's see how many stars there are in the sky. The second daughter looked up at the sky subconsciously, although there were no stars in sight at the moment. But they already roughly understood what Xiao Wen meant, they just couldn't believe it. There are as many stars in the sky as there are gods we believe in in the Chaos Secret Church. And among the gods, the great Dagon and Shudela are but weaker beings of the great old ones. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. This answer was no less than a bolt from the blue, and King Ada and Natasha Romanoff were so shocked that they were speechless. They all looked at Xiao Wen with astonishment. Xiao Wen did not continue to explain more about the Cthulhu myth. That's enough of what he said for now. It is enough for the two people in front of them and the forces behind them to give full play to their imagination. Everything that happened today, I believe it will take some time for you to digest, so let's do it first. After Xiao Wen finished speaking, he ignored the second daughter. Natasha Romanoff wanted to continue asking what to write, but seeing Xiao Wen no longer wanted to talk to herself. After hesitation for a while, he also turned around and left with King Ada. When both of them were brought, they had already got their own rooms. Therefore, the two girls didn't go out for a walk, but went back to their room directly. It's just that as soon as they entered, the first thing the two girls did was to search their room. Search every turret in the room clearly. Is there really something? Soon Ada Wong found a tiny bug under his pillow. And Natasha Romanoff also found a pinhole monitor above the vanity mirror. It seems that our colleague is really not simple. The second daughter looked at the things in her hands and immediately understood. This is not something that Xiao Wen made, but it was made by a colleague who approached Xiao Wen with the same purpose as himself. Being able to put surveillance equipment in such a short period of time and under his nose, it seems that this is not as simple as an ordinary agent. But looking at the things in their hands, neither of the two girls chose to say anything. Instead, it's as if nothing happened, just destroying the device. Enough and exciting things had happened today, and now neither of them wanted to overwhelm. So I just destroyed the things and lay down on the bed, wanting to take a rest, and then report the information I got so far. I don't know if I am too tired. Natasha Romanoff just lay down and fell asleep quickly. At the same time, the chaotic Pacific Ocean returned to calm in the blink of an eye, as if nothing had happened. Things aren't quite right for Natasha Romanoff at the moment, however. She was constantly chanting something in her mouth, and her expression became extremely frightened. In a dream, Natasha Romanoff of at the moment suddenly found herself in a vast ocean. And the body is still sinking constantly, rapidly advancing towards the bottomless dark abyss. The closer she got to the abyss, the more frightened Natasha Romanoff became. 
It felt as if something extremely terrifying was waiting for me. No no no. Natasha Romanoff struggled constantly, trying to get out of the abyss. But all her efforts, compared with this huge amounts of sinking power, are simply a drop in the bucket. Her body was still sinking at an extremely fast speed, and she had already fallen into the dark abyss. As far as the eye can see, there is darkness all around. Natasha Romanoff couldn't see clearly what was going on around her, and she didn't know where she was. At this moment, she only knows that she is constantly sinking. Gradually even Natasha Romanoff herself began to feel a little numb. It feels like I have sunk in this abyss for hundreds of thousands of years. Suddenly Natasha Romanoff sensed something was wrong. I seem to have stopped sinking. And there seems to be something in front of him. Even in the dark abyss, even if the eyes cannot see. But Natasha Romanoff can still feel that there seems to be a giant in front of her. But what is it? Just when Natasha Romanoff was uneasy and didn't know what she was about to face. Suddenly, a light appeared in front of him. But that wasn't natural light, it was the shimmer from a pair of eyes. Natasha Romanoff's eyes widened, her whole body trembling constantly. The fear in her heart was also completely aroused at this moment, turning into endless nightmares, which were branded on her face. D. Dagan. Natasha Romanoff knew what was in front of her. It was a huge, even huge existence beyond their imagination. Just those eyes, in Natasha Romanoff's view, is a football field, even bigger than that. Especially that familiar aura, that terrifying force that brought fear to him, almost breaking through his psychological defense. This was the existence she had only seen before, the evil god named Dagon. Praise Cthulhu. Dagon looked at Natasha Romanoff in front of him, and then spoke in a low voice. The language and body structure that is hardly human can make a sound. After it fell into the ears of Natasha Romanoff, it got the transliteration of the most recent human language. That is to praise Cthulhu. Then Dagon disappeared, and with it the entire abyss. But Natasha Romanoff didn't relax at all, instead she became even more frightened. He was also constantly muttering praises to Cthulhu, and the distortion and madness in his eyes were emerging bit by bit. As if any of them could break her sanity. Suddenly Natasha Romanoff raised his right hand, and thrust it into his eyes. Ah. With a scream, Natasha Romanoff sat up from the bed in shock. Then he gasped heavily, panic and fear written all over his face. At this moment, she was soaked in sweat just like when she saw the statues of Dagon and Shudella before. Woo. Natasha Romanoff swallowed hard, and then hastily reached out to turn on the chandelier. Immediately, the light drove away the darkness in the room, and Natasha Romanoff was relieved. Ever since she was a child, she has never been so afraid of the dark like she is now. Cthulhu Divine System. What is that existence? Natasha Romanoff just chanted this name at this moment, and felt a sense of fear in the depths of her soul. Natasha Romanoff wonders what the hell is going on. But she is very clear that she may be exposed or corrupted at any time in such a place, so she must tell S.H.I.E.L.D. the information she has obtained as soon as possible. The future of mankind may be on this. So without any delay, Natasha Romanoff immediately picked up the phone and called Fury. Fury, I have important information to tell you. If you don't take it seriously, perhaps mankind will be completely destroyed. You know, the sudden change in the Pacific Ocean, and the sudden calm. Let Fury have a headache wait a minute, how should the report be submitted to Congress? After all, nothing has been investigated now, and there will definitely be opinions from the Congress. As a result, Natasha Romanoff is doing it again for herself. This immediately made Fury start to wonder, should he go to a fortune teller for a calculation? Natasha Romanoff, I remember you were investigating the cult in the Big Apple City. How could it suddenly have something to do with the survival of human beings? For those cults in the Big Apple, Fury didn't pay attention at all. The main responsibility of their shield is to solve many terrorist incidents that threaten the safety of the people of the whole country, including mutant. Things like cults are just a matter of grabbing grass and beating rabbits. Director Nick Fury, I am now in a religion called the Chaos Secret Church, they are believing in a kind of evil god called the Cthulhu Pantheon, and these evil Shendu are real. Currently known evil gods include the King of the Immortals of the Sea, the Father God Dagon of the Deep Ones, and the Mother God Shudela. Originally, 
Fury didn't care about these reports from Natasha Romanov. Because of those cults in the Big Apple City, their shield has already investigated them, and they are all deceptive fakes. But when Natasha Romanoff mentioned something about the sea, Fury suddenly became serious. King of the Immortals of the Sea. Natasha Romanoff, what the hell are you talking about about Dagon and Shudella? Fury's ability to be the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. definitely deserves his name. Immediately realized that the so-called Dagon and Shudella were most likely related to the change in the Pacific Ocean. So he hurriedly asked. Natasha Romanoff immediately told Fury everything that happened today. It's right. It's all right. Fury compared Natasha Romanoff's intelligence to what was happening in the Pacific. The problem was discovered immediately. Both events happened at about the same time. In other words, the anomaly in the Pacific Ocean is most likely caused by the two evil gods believed by the Chaos Secret Church. But this is not good news. Why did something like an evil god suddenly appear? Fury couldn't help but cursed angrily. It was just a deceiving cult. Why did it suddenly become a real one? By the way, how many evil gods do you think there are in this Cthulhu pantheon? According to the leader, there are as many evil gods in the Cthulhu pantheon as there are stars in the sky. Although I guess this is a lie, it is conservatively estimated that there are at least double digits. Shet. Upon hearing this, Fury couldn't help but swear. Double digits. In other words, it is conservatively estimated that there must be dozens of evil gods. Is this really stabbing the nest of the evil god? How could so many evil gods suddenly appear? Fury calmed down quickly though, and began to recall what Natasha Romanoff had said. You said that those evil Shendu came from another universe, and those leaders are their spokespersons, spreading their beliefs to every corner of the earth for them. Yes, Xiao Wen told me so. Fury immediately fell into a brief silence when he heard the words. Okay, I see, you continue to monitor and investigate this cult. After Fury finished speaking, he hung up the phone directly, then walked out of the office quickly, and walked towards another place. There is a very bold plan brewing in his heart. In another office on the upper floors of S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters. Pierce is thinking about how to further strengthen Hydra. Now that Hydra has infiltrated 80% of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s departments, the next step is to completely occupy S.H.I.E.L.D. and let Hydra be reborn under the body of S.H.I.E.L.D. But just S.H.I.E.L.D. is not enough. I have to think of some other means. Pierce was muttering, when suddenly the office door was pushed open. Pierce was so scared that he opened his drawer on the spot and put his hands on the pistol inside. But when he saw that it was Fury who came in, he immediately let go. It looks like he shouldn't have been exposed, otherwise Fury wouldn't have come to find him himself. Thinking of this, Pierce felt a little relieved. But still staring at Fury with displeasure. I don't know why this black stewed egg is crazy. He didn't even knock on the door. If one day he really hid it by mistake and discovered his secret, it would be troublesome. Gotta figure out a way to make him stop doing it next time. Instead, he said to Pierce excitedly, Pierce, I have a good plan, a perfect parasitic plan. Upon hearing the parasitic plan, Pierce shook his hand and immediately grabbed the pistol in the drawer. Doesn't the already know about HYDRA's plans? Pierce looked at Fury, who was still excited, nervously and suspiciously. However, when he thought that 80% of SHIELD's department was in his own hands, Pierce immediately felt relieved. That, what is the parasitic plan you are talking about? After coughing twice, Pierce asked tentatively. Fury, who didn't notice anything wrong with Pierce at all, was introducing his plan to Pierce with a look of excitement. I plan to let a large number of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents sneak into this Chaos Secret Church disguised as believers, and then replace their important personnel one by one. When the time is right, this Chaos Secret Church will completely become our S.H.I.E.L.D. Quote. It's time to support a puppet to become the leader, and use him to turn the power of these evil gods into our S.H.I.E.L.D.'s property. Fury introduced Pierce with excitement, as if excited by his genius idea. Pierce on the side stared at Fury with a bad face. TMs. Say important things earlier next time. If I hadn't been able to hold my breath and be patient, I'd have killed you with a shot just now. But speaking of it, that seems like a really nice plan. The power of the evil god is indeed a good thing. And speaking of parasitism, isn't that HYDRA's specialty? 
Moreover, the current shield has been eroded step by step in its own layout and has become the second base of Hydra. From Pierce's point of view, Fury's plan was perfect. Especially with their Hydra, it is a perfect match. Pierce and Fury, both of them conceived their own infiltration plans in their heads. And in the eyes of the two, this plan of theirs is bound to succeed. At least for now they all think so. And immediately arrange the manpower. My name is Anderson, a senior agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I have been working in S.H.I.E.L.D. for more than 10 years, but few people know that I am actually an agent of HYDRA and have been working in HYDRA for more than 15 years. As a dual agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA. Today I encountered a very strange task. It started with the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. notifying us that we were going undercover for a cult. Then the leader of HYDRA also came to inform us that we were going to undercover a cult. Are you undercover from the same cult? In fact, if only this is the case. But when I got the mission plan from the two leaders, I was completely dumbfounded. Because there is no difference between the two plans. Other than replacing the shield badge above with the Hydra badge, there is no difference at all. Who are you copying from whom? Can you even copy the plan these days? Do you officials dare to be lazy? However, I followed the order and came to this cult as an undercover agent. Originally, I thought that it would be difficult to join this cult, but I didn't expect that I would meet a person just walking around the street and pull me to preach. And it's the target, the cult called the Chaos Secret Church. Why do people use such suspicious names these days? But at least I joined this cult, and along with many of my colleagues, came to meet what they called the a spokesperson of God. The young man called the leader. You are all people who have been approved by God and have received God's guidance, so you came here. You will be fortunate to see the truth of this world, and you will understand the true meaning of this world. Xiao Wen stood in front of everyone, looking at them with satisfaction. These are the people who were pulled back by their own believers from the outside today, and they will all become loyal believers of the Chaos Secret Church in the future. Although Xiao Wen can probably guess it, it is estimated that more than half of these people are agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Wesker. But does it matter? Unimportant. Anyway, the final result is to become a member of their own Chaos Secret Church, so it doesn't matter whether they came voluntarily or with ulterior motives. The important thing is that they can all increase the number of believers for themselves. Natasha Romanoff and King Ada, who were standing behind Xiao Wen at this moment, had already seen that something was wrong with the people in front of them. As the trump card among agents, they could tell at a glance that more than half of the people in front of them were agents. Now they immediately understood what was going on. These people must have been sent by the forces behind them to inquire about information. It wasn't just Natasha Romanoff who was spooked by Dagon last night. King Ada was also not having a good time. And she also told Wesker everything that happened here, so Wesker also sent people over to find out the details of the Chaos Secret Church. It's just that none of them knew that all of this was in Xiao Wen's plan. The whole incident is proceeding according to Xiao Wen's plan. Those who are recognized by God, swear here that you will become faithful believers of the great Cthulhu God. Xiao Wen didn't care about the identities of these people, and immediately made them swear that they would believe in the gods of the Cthulhu pantheon. Originally, these people came to join the religion, and they definitely would not have any hesitation, so they immediately took an oath to join the Chaos Secret Church and become believers of the god Cthulhu. Ding, accumulatively gained 500 believers, get a reward, Cthulhu Mythos script The Haze of Innsmouth. Cthulhu Mythos script, realize a piece of Cthulhu mythology in this world, and the creatures in it will not harm the host. After using this script to expand the reputation of Cthulhu mythology to a certain extent, you will get the script ownership of everything in. The Haze of Innsmouth, this is a small town where humans and deep divers exist in cooperation. All the residents in the town are hybrids of deep divers and humans. They will gradually appear close to deep divers after they grow up. The appearance of a diver, and one day will become a deep diver, and then enter the sea and go to the underwater city of the deep divers. Hearing the system prompt, Xiao Wen's eyes lit up. Originally, he was thinking about how to improve the reputation of their chaos secret church. After all, he is preaching. If no one knows your sect, no one will join it. The behavior of using Natasha Romanoff and Ida Wong to gather wool like this can only be carried out in the early stage. Waiting for a long time, shield they will definitely be in short supply. 
so you still have to do it yourself. Xiao Wen originally planned to let people go out to cause some troubles, and then lead people to solve these troubles, so as to improve the reputation of the Chaos Secret Church. But this also has a downside, that is, it is possible that those superheroes will meddle in their own business. But if there is a script of Cthulhu mythology, then this problem will be solved. It's all a family thing, and I definitely have a lot of advantages over those superheroes. And even if something goes wrong, no one can investigate it. Thinking of this, Xiao Wen immediately nodded in satisfaction. However, he didn't use this script right away. First of all, he had to deal with all these people in front of him. Immediately, Xiao Wen showed a kind smile at these people. Next, you will meet the gods that our Chaos Secret Church believes in, the Great Dagon and Shudela. I believe that when you see their faces, you will definitely not regret your decision to join the religion. Definitely, if any of you feel that it is not worth it after seeing it, then I also welcome your decision to quit teaching. At the same time, Xiao Wen added something in his heart. But first you must be able to withstand the corruption and curse of looking directly at the idol of the Great Old One. Unless it is a legendary investigator, throw three big successes in a row. Otherwise, Xiao Wen really couldn't think of any way to stay rational in this situation. After hearing Xiao Wen's words, all agents with ulterior motives including Anderson laughed. It's just an idol, and it's as mysterious as Jesus' shroud. Each of them looked at Xiao Wen indifferently. No one took the so-called God statue seriously. However, after Xiao Wen tore off the black cloth covering the statue, everyone present saw a scene they had never seen before. Sure enough, Anderson was just like any other double agent. After Xiao Wen tore off the black cloth covering the statues of Dagon and Shu Della, the moment he saw the two Cthulhu gods, he was completely attracted by the statues. This is simply a work of art. It's so beautiful. Anderson looked at the two statues like a fascination, his eyes revealing fanaticism and distortion. At the moment, Anderson felt like he understood everything. Everything in this world is so insignificant in his eyes. It's all so easy to understand. He felt that at this moment, he seemed to be an omniscient wise man. Great. I'm starting to understand all of this. Crazy. Obsessed. Confusion. Distortion. The power of the old rulers is distorting their hearts, destroying their will, and rewriting everything about them. They have only two paths ahead. Either become the most faithful believer of the great old one, or become a madman. But fortunately, as long as you take the oath to join the religion, you can count as a missionary success. So the attrition of these people, but don't worry too much. The big deal is to try to recruit a few more people in the future, and they will always be able to fill the vacancies. And King Ada and Natasha Romanoff standing behind Xiao Wen deliberately avoided looking directly at the two statues. And after seeing the current appearance of these people, I also confirmed the horror of the statue in my heart. Thinking about it carefully, I am really lucky to be able to maintain my sanity under this statue. Praise Dagon. Praise Shudela. With one after another praise sounded. Those who saw the statues of Dagon and Shudela were transformed into loyal followers of the Chaos Secret Church. They will serve wholeheartedly and believe in the Old One. In regard Xiao Wen is their absolute master, and will not violate any order of Xiao Wen. Even if Xiao Wen told them to die now, they wouldn't have the slightest complaint. But not all were successful. The reason why everyone succeeded yesterday was mainly because Xiao Wen was deliberately reducing the failure rate, and they all believed in Xiao Wen from the beginning. But now these people, almost all have their own ghosts. None of them are fuel-efficient lights, so. So failure is definitely a matter of course. And these failed people, at this moment, all looked around blankly. Then he yelled and even tried to escape or self-mutilate. But because there were people arranged by Xiao Wen nearby, he immediately stepped forward to stop them. I saw it. I really saw it. Shadows. Nameless shadows. Destroy. Everything will be destroyed. You will die. He will die, and all of us will die. Ha ha ha. Words full of madness and nervousness kept ringing. Everyone can see that the spirits of these people have completely collapsed at this moment. They spoke incomprehensible words, as if they had just escaped from a mental hospital. What's wrong with them? Seeing the crazy looks of these people, King Ada and Natasha Romanoff both showed doubts and puzzled expressions. They're all crazy. 
Xiao Wen just glanced at these people, and then said nonchalantly. The face of the old rulers is not something that anyone can see. After seeing the statues of Dagon and Shudela, their spirits were shocked by huge amounts of shock. Because they couldn't bear such a shock, they went crazy. Hearing Xiao Wen's understatement, the hearts of Natasha Romanoff and King Ada tightened. Because they also saw the statue of the old ruler yesterday, and they were not transformed into believers. Does this mean that they will end up like this? It's just that they can still resist now. But how long can such resistance last? It was just one night, and I was already on the verge of collapse. If I did it a few more times, I would definitely go crazy. At this moment, both Natasha Romanoff and King Ida are worried about this matter. After all, they can still vividly remember the experience of last night. Xiao Wen glanced over them, knowing what they were worried about. But Xiao Wen didn't care. Whether corruption will strike or not is in Xiao Wen's mind. Currently Xiao Wen still keeps them useful, so definitely won't make them crazy. Take all these lunatics here for the time being, and throw them in after the Arkham Asylum I invested in is completed. Xiao Wen had anticipated this situation early on. The crazy words of these lunatics often contain some information about the Cthulhu mythos. So Xiao Wen invested in building a lunatic asylum this morning, which is specially used to house these failed lunatics. Perhaps out of interest, Xiao Wen named this insane asylum Arkham Asylum. Anyway, they are all used to lock up people, and it seems to be the same. Understood. Natasha Romanoff nodded immediately, saying that she would make arrangements. After explaining these things, Xiao Wen took out another stack of leaflets and put them on the table beside him. From today onwards, all believers will give me a hundred leaflets each and go out to preach. These are leaflets specially made by Xiao Wen, and they are also important missionary props in Xiao Wen's plan. All of them have magic prepared by Xiao Wen, people who can receive flyers with hypnotic ability. I believe that with these things, my future missionary career will be able to get twice the result with half the effort. After distributing all the leaflets, there is only one last thing left. And the most important thing at the same time. That was the Innsmouth Haze. After all, this is the first show of Cthulhu Mythos in this world, and it must be beautiful enough. Both the Cthulhu mythology and their Chaos Secret Church's reputation have to be spread out. So he set his sights on Natasha Romanoff and Ada Wong again. You all go and get ready, and then we're going to a small town called Innsmouth. This is a place that has been associated with the Cthulhu gods since a long history. As soon as these words came out, there was a trace of inexplicable emotion in the eyes of King Ada and Natasha Romanoff. Apparently the fish has taken the bait. Sure enough, both Natasha Romanoff and King Ida took the bait without accident. The Cthulhu myth is a completely new thing for this world. Any clues about the Cthulhu myth will attract their attention. What's more, this is what Xiao Wen said personally, and it was related to the Cthulhu mythology in ancient times. For a moment, various thoughts arose in the hearts of the two girls. What's the matter? What are you two sisters thinking? Suddenly Xiao Wen's words brought the second daughter's thinking back to reality. Looking at Xiao Wen in front of them, the two girls couldn't help flashing a trace of fear in their eyes. Immediately afterwards, Ada Wang Li and Natasha Romanoff were intimately attached together. Originally, the two girls were dressed very coolly, but now that the large snow-white skins touched together, it made people fantasize even more. Boy, is this going to show me lesbians. Xiao Wen watched the interaction between the two girls with a smile on his face, but didn't say anything. Although Natasha Romanoff is not used to the close contact of King Ida, she also knows that the most important thing now is to dispel Xiao Wen's suspicion, so she can only cooperate with King Ida. We are thinking about how to better serve the leader. Ada Wong said with a sweet face, with a seductive tone, obviously trying to seduce Xiao Wen to commit a crime. But Xiao Wen just smiled, then nodded and said softly, then think about it carefully, I am looking forward to your performance. After saying that, Xiao Wen turned around and left. Now is not the time to indulge in gentleness, I still have a lot of things to do. The system, manifesting the town of Innsmouth. Ding. The realization is successful, and the world's Cthulhu mythos is corrupted by plus one. Once the corruption of the Cthulhu mythos reaches 100, this world will become like the world created by Lovecraft and the others, a terrifying place where the old ones and outer gods are rampant. 
At that time, the entire earth will be in Xiao Wen's pocket. I still have so many things to deal with now, so I definitely can't take care of this little thing in front of me. Hey, when are you going to post it? Seeing that Xiao Wen had already left, Natasha Romanoff immediately drove Ada King away from her with a cold face. Cut. It's not like I don't have one. Ada Wong squeezed Natasha Romanoff twice more, and then pretended not to care and left Natasha Romanoff. But yours doesn't seem to be enough. Natasha Romanoff looked at King Ada teasingly, his expression full of provocation. He even deliberately stood up his proud figure. Although Ada Wang's figure is also very good, compared with Natasha Romanoff's majesty, it is still a little bit worse. Snort. King Ada just snorted coldly at this, and then said disdainfully. You should think about how to report this information to the forces behind you. Although I don't know whose agent you are. But I am sure that the two of us are colleagues. Ada Wong is actually very clear, Natasha Romanoff must know that she is also an agent. So just take advantage of this opportunity and put everything on the table. It can be regarded as a bottom line. In this way, the two can cooperate with each other after all. After all, in this chaos secret church, King Ada really felt the unprecedented danger. Natasha Romanoff also thought the same about this, that's why she cooperated with King Ada to seduce Xiao Wen just now. But unexpectedly, Xiao Wen didn't like this at all. We can cooperate with each other in the future, but you'd better put away your little tricks. While talking, Natasha Romanoff reached out and took out a small, ant-like thing from her chest and threw it at King Ada. That's not how bugs are used. Apparently this was slipped in by Ida Wong and Natasha Romanoff when they were acting just now. Okay, don't worry. There won't be a next time. Ada Wong made an okay gesture to Natasha Romanoff, then turned and left. And Natasha Romanoff also turned her head and left after staring at King Ada's back for a while. Wesker. Your agents have been wiped out. After returning to her room, Ada Wong Lee immediately called Wesker. Tell him what happened today. Lost more than 20 agents in one breath, but Wesker didn't care at all. Still calmly said to King Ada. If you can find out more information, I won't let those people die. Originally, the work of your agent has always been accompanied by death. Do you know the little town of Innsmouth? King Ada didn't pay too much attention to Wesker's words, but directly switched the topic to the focus of this time. The town of Innsmouth. Xiao Wen said that this place was related to the Cthulhu mythology in ancient times. The town of Innsmouth. There are some relevant information, but not much. I only know that this is a relatively backward and closed town. It was developed from a fishing village. The local residents are extremely xenophobic and have a tradition of marriage between close relatives, so when they grow up, people there will be a little deformed. And the umbrella company that Wesker works for, that is, the Umbrella Company, is a company that focuses on genetic research, so some investigations have been done on places with obvious genetic problems like the small town of Innsmouth. Although there is not much information obtained, it is better than nothing. This town of Innsmouth may be related to the myth of Cthulhu. According to Xiao Wen, this town of Innsmouth has been connected with the myth of Cthulhu a long time ago. He will go here next. There must be something to do. Is that so? Wesker's thoughtful voice came from the other end of the phone. This immediately made King Ada feel a little bad. Because she is very clear about the logic of Wesker's actions. Once Wesker speaks in this tone, it is time for him to think about some dangerous things. What do you want to do? Now we don't know anything about Cthulhu mythology, you may mess around. Don't worry, I won't mess around, I just want to continue my experiment. Wesker's words not only did not reassure King Ada, but made her even more worried and uneasy. What the hell are you trying to do? I'm going to release experimental subjects such as viruses and executioners near the small town of Innsmouth. After Wesker finished speaking, he hung up the phone directly. However, King Ada couldn't calm down for a long time because of his haha. -ha. She knows exactly how dangerous the viruses and experimental subjects of the Umbrella Company are. Is Wesker trying to destroy this country? Once the virus leaked out, the experimental subject ran away. The whole country will turn into a scene of purgatory in minutes. That's why King Ada was so surprised when he heard Wesker's idea. This is something that only a lunatic would come up with. But this is the end of the matter, and she can't help it. 
we can only take one step at a time. Sir, can I spare a moment of your time? I would like to introduce you to my faith and my beacon of light, the Chaos Secret Church. Ma'am, I don't need money anyway, just trust me. The great Dagon and Shudela will bring immortality and life-level evolution to their followers. Are you sure you won't come? The next day, Xiao Wen took Natasha Romanoff, King Ada, and several disguised disciples of deep divers on their way to the small town of Innsmouth. On the way, they even encountered several believers preaching. My lord, it seems that there are still many ignorant people in our chaos secret church who need to be saved. During King Ada's journey, he never saw a single believer succeed in preaching. Almost no one is willing to accept his leaflets, and even if there are a few who accept it, the hypnotic ability will fail because the psychological defense is too strong. SHIELD has been promoting anti-cult propaganda recently. Although our chaos secret church is an orthodox sect, it is not immune to some influence. Xiao Wen said in a flat tone, as if he didn't care about these things at all. Because he knew very well in his heart that this phenomenon would happen, in the final analysis, it was because the Chaos Secret Church was not well known. As a small sect, there are not even a thousand followers. The small one couldn't be any smaller, and the name is still very strange. As long as it is an individual, it will feel that something is wrong, and even subconsciously feel that it is a cult. Even Spider-Man, before he became famous, didn't many people doubt his behavior. And for this point, isn't Xiao Wen going to solve it? Use these tales from the Cthulhu mythos to make a name for the Chaos mythos. Only when everyone knows the name of the Chaos Secret Church, will they be willing, or even take the initiative to join the Chaos Secret Church and become believers of the old rulers and outer gods. But hearing Xiao Wen's seemingly casual words, Natasha Romanoff's heart shuddered. After all, S.H.I.E.L.D. will promote the prevention of cults, mainly because he told them about the Chaos Secret Church. So after hearing what Xiao Wen said, Natasha Romanoff was actually a little nervous. But fortunately, Xiao Wen didn't bother about this matter too much, he just mentioned it a little bit, and then sat in the car and closed his eyes to rest. Maybe it was out of deliberate flattery, or maybe it was to make Xiao Wen not doubt himself. Natasha Romanoff took the initiative to come to Xiao Wen's side, and then gently put her hand on Xiao Wen's head. Master, I have learned massage before, do you need me to relax you? Um, Xiao Wen didn't refuse, but responded. Although it is said that Xiao Wen will not take the initiative to attack Natasha Romanoff and the others for the time being. But if they threw themselves into his arms, he would not refuse. Joke. There is a beautiful woman who takes the initiative to sleep with you. I believe that no man will refuse. Because it doesn't make sense. It's not that the body is bad. Xiao Wen rests on Natasha Romanoff's round and elastic thighs, enjoying Natasha Romanoff's massage. Immediately, I felt that my whole body was about to float up. I have to say that Natasha Romanoff's massage technique is very good, and you can tell at a glance that she really went for further training. Seeing that Natasha Romanoff was one step ahead of him, King Ada was also anxious. Although the two have already said that they will cooperate temporarily, they both know that the other party will not share information with them. So whoever can get the information out of Xiao Wen's mouth first will win the other side. As a high-level agent, Ada Wang is not willing to let Natasha Romanoff lead him. Therefore, King Ada immediately joined in. My lord, let me pinch your legs. Speaking of this, King Ada didn't even wait for Xiao Wen to nod, he put Xiao Wen's leg on his thigh, and then gently squeezed it. This is thanks to the fact that S.H.I.E.L.D. and the agent of the Umbrella Company donated the money yesterday, and Xiao Wen went to book an extended luxury car. Let alone a massage in the car, it is enough to have a party in the car. Now Xiao Wen is lying on the soft leather seat, pillowing on Natasha Romanoff's lap, enjoying the service of two big beauties, not to mention how cool it is. Gradually, under the service of the second daughter, Xiao Wen also became a little tired. Soon fell asleep. 4.23 in the afternoon. After a journey of more than five hours, they finally arrived at their destination. The most remote suburb of the Big Apple, a small town by the coast. The salty sea breeze blows head on with the fishy smell of the sea. The seagulls made noisy calls in the air, as if they were welcoming them, but also seemed to be threatening them. The town of Innsmouth. It is a small town near the sea. 
Most of the buildings in the town are made of wood, and they look very old because they have been damaged by the sea wind all the year round. The top of the town is shrouded in dark clouds all the year round, resulting in a serious lack of light here, and few trees can be seen. Even the ground under everyone's feet is barren and hard rocks, and the soil is almost invisible, exist. Everything here looks so backward and crude. It even makes people feel that this should not be a modern town in the 21st century at all, especially since this town is still within the jurisdiction of the Big Apple, the most prosperous city in the country. When a luxurious and technological RV came to this town, it was like a clove of garlic being squeezed into an orange. Completely in the shape of an outsider. It is completely different from the painting style of the whole town. So when Xiao Wen and the others came to this small town, they immediately received a lot of attention. It's hard to imagine that there is such a backward place near the Big Apple. As soon as Xiao Wen led the crowd into the town, Natasha Romanoff couldn't help feeling emotional. Being behind means being old-fashioned, which still means that we have not come to the wrong place. While talking, Xiao Wen took them to the hotel they had booked in advance. When checking in at the hotel, they also met several tourists. It is strange to say that there are no outsiders in the small town of Innsmouth for almost a whole year, but there are still tourists. However, Xiao Wen didn't care about these, but after taking them in, he explained the purpose of the trip to Natasha Romanoff and King Ada. In the small town of Innsmouth, a grand festival party is held here every year, and the purpose of this party is actually a sacrificial ceremony for the great Dagon and Shudela. All we have to do is to witness the ceremony and incorporate the local Dagon Tantric members here into our Chaos Tantric Church. Xiao Wen's words made the two girls feel astonished for a while. Originally, they thought that the Chaos Secret Church where Xiao Wen belonged to should be the only sect related to the god Cthulhu. But now they can easily hear one thing from Xiao Wen's words. There is also a Dagon esoteric cult in Innsmouth, and they have always served and believed in Dagon. And from this point, they immediately thought of something even more terrifying. It was only Xiao Wen who told them about Innsmouth, so they knew about the existence of Innsmouth and the Dagon esoteric cult. But are there any other similar places in this world? Do these Cthulhu evil gods' religions and beliefs also exist there? These thoughts flashed through the minds of the children. King Ada doesn't care too much about this, after all, these are not what she should care about now. But Natasha Romanoff is different. She is an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., and she needs to gather this information for S.H.I.E.L.D. Because S.H.I.E.L.D. is responsible for the security of the entire beautiful country, this information is necessary. And neither S.H.I.E.L.D. nor Congress will allow such an unstable factor and threat to appear under their noses. However, when Natasha Romanoff was still thinking about how to find out more information about other Cthulhu religions from Xiao Wen, Xiao Wen suddenly changed the subject and talked about the tourists he met at the hotel. Speaking of which, no outsiders will come to Innsmouth town for almost a whole year. I didn't expect to meet outsiders as soon as we came here. Immediately, Natasha Romanoff's expression froze, but she recovered quickly. Coincidence. After all, our appearance is also a coincidence for them in a sense. Natasha Romanoff actually knows it well. Those people just now were agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., especially when she saw an acquaintance inside. Fury's right-hand man, the operations commander of S.H.I.E.L.D. Special Forces, Level 8 Agent Phil Coulson. Unexpectedly, Fury actually sent him this time, obviously he was very concerned about this operation. Now that Xiao Wen mentioned them, Natasha Romanoff could only cover them up as much as possible. Originally Xiao Wen was trying to scare Natasha Romanoff. Now that the goal has been achieved, Xiao Wen stared at Natasha Romanoff with a smile on his face. It wasn't until seeing Natasha Romanoff that he felt a little nervous, then he looked away, and then said lightly, it's also possible, but it's really a coincidence that they came here. This sentence immediately aroused the curiosity of the two girls, but Xiao Wen didn't answer them, but got up and walked outside. Let's go out and see this small town in gloom and decay. Xiao Wen didn't care whether the second daughter was willing or not, so she walked out directly. Seeing this, the second daughter could only follow up. A group of five people, besides Xiao Wen, Natasha Romanoff and Ada Wang, there are two deep divers. It's just that they all shrouded themselves in black cloaks, and even completely covered their faces. From the outside, it was impossible to tell what was inside the wide black cloaks. 
As soon as the five people left the hotel, they met Phil Coulson and others. In addition, there seems to be a real tourist, who is talking to Phil Coulson and others at the moment. I originally wanted to travel to other places, but because the ticket was too expensive, then the conductor suggested that I could visit this small town, but now I regret my decision. This is a young man who is complaining to Phil Coulson and others about his wrong decision to come to the small town of Innsmouth. Maybe it's because of the exclusiveness of the town residents, or maybe it's because of the sense of belonging as outsiders. Let this young man pull Phil Coulson and chatter about the book, not caring whether Phil Coulson and the others are willing to listen to his chatter. Until Phil Coulson and others saw Xiao Wen's appearance. Phil Coulson immediately abandoned the youth, and then came to Xiao Wen. Hey, sir, are you here for sightseeing too? Phil Coulson has excellent qualities as an agent. Although he knew Natasha Romanoff, he never saw Natasha Romanoff from the beginning to the end. His gaze was always on Xiao Wen, as if he really wanted to make friends with Xiao Wen. Yes. Xiao Wen nodded with a smile. I also heard the legendary story of this small town of Innsmouth, so I want to come and see for myself. Legendary stories. What can this place have? Phil Coulson also wanted to ask something from Xiao Wen. However, he had just opened his mouth when a loud bell sounded. It wasn't until this time that everyone discovered that there were some crooked towers not far from them, and the bell came from the top of the tower. It's just that the sound of the bell makes people feel quite uncomfortable. Phil Coulson and others could not help but frown after listening to it for a while, as if they didn't like the sound quite much. Among the crowd, only Xiao Wen didn't respond to the young man at all. And as the bell rang, more and more people gradually appeared on the originally empty streets. It's just that the appearance of these people makes people feel more uncomfortable than the bell. Because these people all have obvious Innsmouth looks. It is said that this is due to the sequelae left by their inbreeding. Their foreheads are narrow, their noses are flat, their eyes are protruding in gray-white, and there are deep folds on both sides of their necks, and their skin is rough as if they have a skin disease such as ichthyosis. This is a typical Innsmouth appearance, which is very different from ordinary people at first glance, and it can even be said to be deformed. And these people seem to understand this, so many people will wear hats or other things to cover up. And from the church not far away, priests who seemed to have higher status and power also came out and joined these people. Those priests seem to be very rich, they wear gold crowns, and various accessories. They hide their Innsmouth looks under that wealth, but even so, the ominous aura about them makes people feel very uncomfortable. Gradually, there were more and more of these people, and an ominous premonition suddenly emerged from the bottom of Phil Coulson's heart. However, before he could react, these Innsmouth locals had already set their eyes on them. Almost ashamed, Phil Coulson went to get his own gun. But at this moment, an old man holding a whiskey bottle and exuding a strong smell of alcohol suddenly appeared in front of them, and pulled them away from this place. The sudden appearance of the old man surprised everyone except Xiao Wen. Then the old man took Phil Coulson's hand involuntarily and led them to other places. Phil Coulson did not reject the old man's behavior, and Xiao Wen followed with an inexplicable smile. Following the footsteps of the old man, everyone soon came to the most desolate house in a town that was farthest from the coast. Outsiders, why do you come to this kind of place? And at this time? The old man said worriedly and eagerly. Tonight, you'd better stay here, no matter what happens outside, you must not leave, understand? Phil Coulson looked at the old man in front of him. He didn't have the so-called Innsmouth look, but a very normal old man. Just a little haggard and dirty. Wearing tattered clothes, he looked like a homeless man. And the body is still filled with a pungent wine smell, as if it was just fished out of the wine barrel. But Phil Coulson knew it would be his chance. The old man in front of him clearly knew the secrets of this small town. It would be great if he could get some information from this old man. So Phil Coulson immediately asked the old man. Old sir, what happened in this town? Why did you let us stay here? And what's your name? Xiao Wen looked at the old man, and already understood the identity of the old man in his heart. In other words, Xiao Wen knew the identity of this old man from the very beginning. Because the small town of Innsmouth was created by Xiao Wen, Xiao Wen knows everything about it. My name is Zadok Aren. As you can see, I am a drunkard, a lonely old man. Aren laughed at himself 
and then continued, Sir, please believe me, everything I said is for your own good, the ceremony is about to start, if they find out now, you will all die. However, Beren's admonition did not scare Phil Coulson. Instead, it made him confirm one thing more. The Uren in front of him knew the secret of this weird town. Xiao Wen didn't stop it either, because this was exactly his purpose. You know, his original intention was to make the secrets of the town of Innsmouth public, and only in this way can the popularity of the Cthulhu mythology be strengthened in this world. At the same time, let more people know about their chaos secret church. Old man, can you tell me about this town? I am a trainee reporter trying to understand the history and truth of this town. If you can help me, maybe we can make this town better. The young man who had just followed along at the moment also took out a pen and paper, and even a camera, begging Aren sincerely. Aren is shaken when he hears that the young man is a reporter and might make the world a better place. I see. After hesitation for a while, Aren finally chose to tell them everything he knew. This small town of Innsmouth has actually become the devil's lair. The people you see are just the sons of the devil. Innsmouth was originally just an ordinary town, until one day the Marsh family came here and brought a religion called Dagon Esotericism with them. You mean the Marsh family who run the only gold refinery in this town? Phil Coulson asked with some uncertainty. Because the Marsh family is a very rich family, even in the Big Apple City, they can be considered a rich man. If the Marsh family is really related to Cthulhu, then they shield need more evidence before they can take action. That's right. Beren nodded. The Marsh family has become servants of the devil, that's why they have the wealth they have now. Those weird-looking people in the town, they all became that way because they have the blood of the devil. At this time of year, a sacrificial ceremony will be held in the town. Those who have been completely turned into devils hidden in the attic or basement will enter the sea at this time and become devils in the sea, and they will also sacrifice a terrifying evil god. A terrifying evil god. Although Phil Coulson knew that Aren was talking about Dagon, there were some things that Aren had to say for himself. His name is Dagon, and he is a terrible evil god. He made Innsmouth's fishing industry prosperous, and there were endless fish to catch. He even gave the Marsh family gold, but as a price, he also made Innsmouth it has become a den of the devil. From Aren's mouth, Phil Coulson probably understood what was going on. Immediately nodded, and then asked. In other words, Innsmouth's rich fishery and gold all come from this evil god named Dagon. That's right. It's that evil god. If you are really journalists, please make everything here known to the public. I tried to contact the newspaper before, but it was useless at all. Those people took what I said as the imagination of a lunatic. Beren said excitedly, obviously he has been waiting for this moment for too long. The young man before him immediately reassured him. Don't worry, I will let the whole world know about the situation in Innsmouth. Hearing the young man's assurance, Beren finally breathed a sigh of relief. Then he said to everyone with a serious face, but you still have to wait here until dawn. The outside is too dangerous now, even if I have lived here for decades, I dare not go out at this time. Remember that no matter what happens, you must never. Boom. Before Oren could finish speaking, everyone watched a fire suddenly lit up outside. Then came huge amounts of explosions, which even shattered the windows of this old hut. Shards of shattered glass scattered all over the room. After avoiding the broken glass, everyone looked outside the house one after another. But I saw a tall figure fighting a group of terrifying monsters in the town, and more monsters were rushing towards the town from outside the town. And these monsters all came from several transport planes above the town. And these transport planes are also printed with an umbrella logo between red and white. Umbrella Corporation. The town of Innsmouth. One of the strongholds of deep divers in human society. How many years has it existed since ancient times? This is the first time such a thing has been encountered. Flames and explosions almost envelop the entire town. Blood and destruction are spreading in this small town. The town of at the moment has really turned into a purgatory on earth just as Arendt said in his words. Wesker observes his own creation through the camera on the umbrella transport plane. Great. After the cooperation with Osborne Industry, the T-virus has been further enhanced, and it may not take long to evolve into a more powerful virus. With such a powerful virus, it is equivalent to mastering the key to becoming a god. 
These so-called evil gods are just a stepping stone on my road to becoming a god. Wesker is no less obsessed with viruses than any other researcher. As a person who was born and understood the T-virus all the way, Wesker firmly believes that he can use the T-virus to open the way to God. Therefore, in dealing with the Chaos Secret Church, Wesker and S.H.I.E.L.D. took completely opposite actions. He wants to use the T-virus and experimental body in his hands to completely destroy this religion backed by evil gods. And only in this way can it be more directly proved that the T-virus is the only way for human evolution, and the mere evil god is just a trivial wave. However, he didn't notice that his T-virus army had been stopped at this moment. The Deep Ones began to deal merciless blows to those who dared to be presumptuous in their father's ritual. Ah, uh, a hobbled zombie was slowly walking towards the center of the town. He could hear loud noises. For a zombie who has become a walking dead, this is the signal of food. Hungry, they headed towards the town center in groups, not paying any attention to the dwindling number of companions around them. A deep diver, it sounded like Toad, but with a large head with fish scales, holding a short fish-killing knife in his hand, he rushed directly to these zombies. One after another, under his knife, the zombies turned into minced meat all over the ground. And those slow-moving zombies couldn't even touch him. Soon dozens of zombies in the surrounding area were slaughtered by him, but the anger in his heart was not vented at all. Instead, he rushed towards the other zombies even more ferociously. A executioner zombie with a height of more than 2 meters and 3 meters, with a sack on his head and a huge axe in his hand, was splitting a deep diver in half with an axe. Smelly blood splashed everywhere with minced meat, looking extremely bloody. Then he raised the giant axe again, beheaded a deep diver again, and walked towards the center of the town constantly. None of the deep divers around could stop his pace. Until he came to the center of the town and saw several deep diver priests wearing silk robes and golden crowns. These deep divers looked at the executioner and then opened their huge amounts of mouths, a strange and obscure unknown language came out of their mouths. The executioner raised the huge axe in his hand to split these deep diver priests in half. But just as the axe was raised, the executioner fell down heavily. Then countless abscesses appeared on his body, and rotting body tissue fluid flowed out with a foul smell. And the body of the executioner also swelled constantly like a titan, and finally swelled a lot more than before death, and then stopped. But then the entire executioner's body exploded, and sea snakes were blown out of his body, and then rushed straight towards the zombies. Whether it's zombies or deep divers, they are all fighting each other. The deep ones will exact vengeance on those who dare to disturb the ritual of their great father. The zombies want to kill these deep divers and devour their flesh and blood. This small town that has been silent for a long time has completely turned into a meat grinder of death at this moment. Both are monsters in the eyes of humans, and they are fighting each other here. It's really lively. Xiao Wen led the crowd to the center of the town and watched the bloody killing between the two sides. There was nothing in his eyes, and there was even a kind of indifference in talking and laughing. But next to him Phil Coulson was someone else, not like that. Especially Phil Coulson, who was completely dumbfounded at the moment. What the hell is going on? Is that the zombie in the movie? Why did this kind of thing turn into? And those guys with fish or toad heads, what the hell are they? Phil Coulson just felt that the world had become unreal at the moment. It's not like he hasn't been exposed to some outrageous things in the past. But that is just an example, even the mutant brotherhood, which is currently recognized as the most dangerous, is actually a branch of human beings in the final analysis. But the two things in front of my eyes are definitely not human beings. Although he knew that the Chaos Secret Church believed in evil gods, he never thought that he would face such an existence. Deep divers and zombies. Xiao Wen said indifferently, the deep divers are the immortals in the sea. They have eternal life and are immune to all human diseases. As long as they are not killed by others, they can survive forever. For many years, they have served the three old rulers of Cthulhu, Dagon, and Shudela in the city under the sea. But now Dagon and Shudela have responded to the call of my Chaos Secret Church and have become one of the beliefs of the Chaos Secret Church. As long as you join the Chaos Secret Church, you will have the opportunity to become a deep diver and get eternal life. While talking, Xiao Wen also took out a leaflet and handed it to Phil Coulson. 
Sir, can I take a moment to introduce you to our Chaos Secret Church and these great gods? Enjoying the teaching now, enjoy 15% off immediately, only 25,500 United States dollars. Xiao Wen from at the moment is like a little brother handing out leaflets on the street. Watching Phil Coulson even couldn't help but stun for a moment. Now this scene, this situation, do you think it is suitable for preaching? Just as Phil Coulson was constantly complaining about Xiao Wen's behavior in his heart, he suddenly felt the ground under his feet trembling constantly. It was as if an earthquake had struck and they couldn't even keep standing. At the moment when the young man who was traveling with him fell down, his eyes accidentally glanced at the distant sea, and deep fear suddenly appeared in his eyes. Immediately, he couldn't help but exclaimed aloud. Look at the surface of the sea, there are monsters. There are monsters. Isn't there a bunch of monsters in front of you now? Although Phil Coulson was still complaining in his heart, he turned his head to look at the sea level. But when he saw the scene in the sea, he couldn't bear the fear in his heart anymore, and couldn't help but exclaimed, what the hell is that? I saw an arm protruding from the endless deep sea, covered with layers of fish scales, and connected with frog-like webs on the palm, it looked like the arm of a frog with scales. But isn't this arm a little too big? Phil Coulson roughly looked at it, and this arm must be at least a hundred meters long. And this is just the part of the arm sticking out of the water. God knows how long the arm will be underwater. And based on this length, wouldn't the owner of this arm, the monster that is silent in the deep sea, have to be hundreds of meters tall? With such huge amounts of existence, just thinking about it for a while makes Phil Coulson feel a burst of horror in his heart. Sinners who blaspheme God will be punished by God. Looking at this arm, Xiao Wen's face was still calm. Even looking at this arm, he opened his mouth and said a word full of magic stick. But no one present at the moment had the guts to deny him. Instead, he firmly believed in what Xiao Wen said. Lord Xiao, is this the god of your chaos secret church? Although Phil Coulson had roughly guessed who the owner of this arm was. But I still want to confirm with Xiao Wen. After all, Xiao Wen should be the only one who knows the situation best. That's right, the small town of Innsmouth is where the great Dagon and Shu Della's believers lived, and they are holding a ceremony to Dagon at the moment, but they are disturbed by these alien monsters, naturally it angered Dagon who was sleeping in the deep sea. This arm is the wrath of Dagon. Following Xiao Wen's words, the huge arm that broke through the sea directly slammed down heavily towards the small town of Innsmouth. What executioner, what zombie, what virus. Under the terrifying power of Cthulhu, they are nothing but ants. Huge amounts of power easily wiped out these umbrella companies, the most proud virus monsters. Even under such huge amounts of power, the entire Big Apple City seemed to have experienced a major earthquake, and the ground was trembling violently. Phil Coulson and others, who were a little closer, fell to the ground on the spot, and could only lie on the ground and watch all this with a dull expression. Seeing that the entire town of Innsmouth and those monsters from the Umbrella Company were reduced to ashes under this huge amounts of power. After doing all this, Dagon retracted his arm. Looking at the calm sea without any waves, and the ruined town in front of you. For the first time in his life Phil Coulson felt terror. Do you feel that the sea is such a terrifying existence? Even Phil Coulson felt that he had developed deep sea phobia, even hydrophobia. Maybe in the future, as soon as he sees water, he will think of everything today. Gods cannot be looked directly at. Suddenly a flat voice fell into their ears, which immediately woke up several people. Phil Coulson was even more pardoned, sweating profusely, as if he had escaped from death. After all, these people are still used now, so we can't let them go crazy here. That's why Xiao Wen took the initiative to speak to wake them up. Keep them from going completely mad under the shadow of the old one. Thank you very much. Phil Coulson swallowed hard, and thanked Xiao Wen with lingering fear. Although with the help of Xiao Wen, he got rid of the ending of zero San value caused by facing Dagon. But the figure of the old ruler still imprinted deep fear in the depths of his soul. Perhaps all of today will be like a nightmare, covering him until death. But Phil Coulson is not the most frightened, because at this moment there is another person in the sky who has witnessed all this. How is it possible? What the hell is that? Wesker couldn't believe his eyes as he watched the final footage from the camera before it was destroyed. What the hell is this huge, terrifying thing? 
Why did it suddenly appear at that time and destroy the entire town? Could it be that the evil god that King Ada informed himself before, that is called? Suddenly, Wesker's expression froze, and he realized that he couldn't say the name of that evil god no matter what. Immediately, Wesker frowned, recalling constantly. What is the name of that evil god? And in Wesker's constantly reminiscing, the scene of the huge amounts of arms destroying everything is also constantly deepening the impression in his mind. An indescribable fear began to rise in his heart little by little, gradually eroding his reason and ideas. What is it called? What is the name of that evil god? Wesker reached out and patted his temple, trying to remind himself of the name of this terrifying existence. Suddenly a voice sounded from the bottom of Wesker's heart. Dagon. Yes. Wesker immediately roared excitedly. It's Dagon, it's. Wrong. Who is talking just now? Wesker's excitement completely froze on his face. His gaze was like blade, scanning everything around him. But nothing was found, there was obviously nothing here, but what happened to the voice I heard just now? An unspeakable horror began to well up in Wesker's heart. Ghost. Demon. Evil spirit. Or. Cthulhu. Thinking of this, Wesker immediately got up and wanted to leave here. As long as you go out of this door, you will be outside the private elite army of the Umbrella Company. As long as you get there, you are safe. Wesker thinks so, and does so. But when he put his hand in front of the password door, just about to enter the password to open the door. The gate in front of him turned into a mass of darkness, and the deep darkness was like an abyss in the endless seabed, capable of swallowing up everything even light. And when Wesker looked at the darkness for a moment, all his consciousness and reason were cleared at this moment. A weird smile appeared on his face with dull eyes, then he raised his hands and shouted. I see. I see everything. I saw the deep seabed, and I saw Relia hidden in it. I saw, the great Dagon. You must know that Wesker, as the chief culprit of the attack on Innsmouth, destroyed Dagon's ceremony and naturally had to face the endless anger of the old ruler. Therefore, after receiving Dagon's key care, he was forcibly transformed into Dagon's believer on the spot. At the same time, Xiao Wen, who was still in Innsmouth, also received a reminder from the system. The important person Wesker has been converted into a believer, and he has been rewarded with a remnant of the Relia text. After listening to the prompt, a smile appeared on Xiao Wen's face immediately. You know, that is the Relia text, which is a book full of legends in the Cthulhu mythology. In the past, it was also known as the textbook of Loyan City. It is a taboo book that records the old ruler Cthulhu, his servants and dependents. The book contains information on how to summon the deep diver, the father god Dagon, the mother god Shudela, and the old ruler Cthulhu, and even one of the three pillar gods, the omniscient and omnipotent god corresponding to the power of god, Yog Sotos. In addition, there are some other magics, but compared with these forbidden magics, they are not enough. This book also records the sinking of Relaye, the holy city of Cthulhu, and it foretells that Relaye will reappear in the world one day. But now what I get is only the remnant copy, and it is estimated that there will not be so much content. It should be someone's record of the original Relaya text. Then during the recording process, the sand value was emptied, and it went crazy, so it can only be called a residual copy. This kind of situation is actually quite common. So at some point, people who hold some strange ancient books don't even know that what they hold is the terrible taboo book, the Relaya text. For example, some investigators who run groups. Okay, now that everything is over, it's time for us to play. As Xiao Wen spoke, he jumped for life, and his whole body flew high into the air. The constitution of the ancient deep divers allowed Xiao Wen to obtain a powerful physical fitness beyond that of human beings at this moment. In the eyes of ordinary people, Xiao Wen just now can no longer be called jumping. Instead it flew. A person can jump hundreds of meters in one step. Phil Coulson and others were stunned and felt unbelievable for a while. But then the two deep divers who had been following Xiao Wen also tore off their outer robes, revealing their true colors. These Phil Coulson and others felt a burst of cold hands and feet. How could he have stood with two monsters for such a long time just now? Immediately Phil Coulson turned his attention to Natasha Romanov. It seems to be questioning Natasha Romanov, why didn't she tell herself such an important thing? 
but Natasha Romanoff turned her head and looked away, not wanting to talk to Phil Coulson at all. I have been by Xiao Wen's side all this time, so I will inform Phil Coulson when I have time. Although Phil Coulson understood this truth, he still looked at Natasha Romanoff with some doubts at the moment. After all, Natasha Romanoff is not a direct descendant of S.H.I.E.L.D., but a monk who came to S.H.I.E.L.D. halfway, so he has to be careful about some things. However, the two also know that this moment is not the time to discuss this, so the careful thoughts between the two will not be expressed for the time being. Second Xiao Wen came to the small town of Innsmouth that had been slapped by Dagon. I saw corpses all over the ground, lying on the ground in all directions. And because of Julie, it has already turned into a puddle of flesh at this moment, and it is impossible to see its true colors clearly. Some of these corpses belong to the experimental subjects of the Umbrella Corporation, but there were also those of the Deep Divers. Dagon is not a benevolent existence. These Deep Divers did not complete the ceremony and should also be punished. But not all Deep Divers are dead. Between these ruins, some deep divers who survived the catastrophe climbed out one after another and gathered in front of Xiao Wen. Most of these deep divers were members of the Dagon esoteric cult, especially the priests who served Dagon all the year round, and none of them were injured. They gathered together, looking suspiciously at Xiao Wen in front of him and the two deep divers beside him. I am the leader of the Chaos Tantric Church, and I am also the spokesperson of your father, Dagon. Now I officially invite you to join my sub-group of the Chaos Tantric Church. The Dagon Tantric Church will continue to serve your father, Dagon. Xiao Wen looked serious and serious. In addition to Dagon and Shudela, in the future, even Cthulhu and even the more powerful Outer Shendu will become one of the beliefs of the Chaos Secret Church. Your joining will be the most important thing. The right decision. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel.